So recall with our dragons of lid problem, we had rational dragons and we had predators. And rational dragons were always truth tellers. They told the whole truth and predators told lies, always told lies. Now those lies didn't have to be out ev every component or every descriptor of what they said. They just had to tell something that was untrue. Okay, so in our uh, where we left off was uh, the two types of dragons. So dragon A says, I am rational, I am gray. Okay, well that to us logically means I am gray and rational. So we use our, remember this means and, this is the and symbol, and that would be true if and only if both gray and R would be true. So in other words, this would be a true statement that I am gray and I am rational if the dragon is both gray and rational. It would be false in all other cases. So true, false, uh, false, true, um, and false, false. So you don't have to use false. You can just say, if you want, you can say yes or no and then say, will that be true, a true or a false statement? But true, false is just another way of saying yes, no, one, zero, etc. Okay, so th this dragon would be telling the truth if he were both uh, gray and rational. Well, dragon B says dragon A is red. Okay, so we don't really have a symbol for that, so we'll just say dra uh, dragon A is red. Okay, we don't want to create too many statements here um, that we can't control. So A is red. Okay, well, so there are a couple different ways this can go. Uh, let's look at possibilities for A and B, see which ones make sense. And this isn't really a truth table, this is more of just being able to keep track of any possibilities and omit other ones. So, um, gray and rational. So if A is in fact a rational dragon, he must be a gray rational. He cannot be a red rational because that would be a lie. He just said he's gray rational. It is impossible for him to be red rational. Okay, well if uh, A is gray rational, that means B and, and by the way, on that next page it says, considering that one is a red dragon and one is a gray dragon, well that would imply that B would have to be a red dragon, and it would further imply that since B claims that A is red, but that is untrue, that would make B a predator. Um, couldn't be any other color and couldn't be anything, couldn't be irrational because he's lying about A's appearance. So suppose that A is lying. Well if A is lying, that means that one of these cases came up, that either he wasn't gray, he wasn't rational, or both of the above. Okay, well, so let's suppose that he was still gray, but that would mean he would be a predator, because that would be a lie, um, and only predators lie. So if he were a gray predator, that would make B a red something. Well, what would that make a B? Since B is claiming that A is red, but in fact, in this particular case, we've assumed that a is gray, well that would make B a liar, and that would make him a predator. And finally, well let's say he would lied in um, the following way, he was a red predator, uh, a red predator, then that would mean that A would be telling the truth, and A would have to be the opposite color, since that's given to us, and um, since A is telling the truth about, or excuse me, B is telling the truth about A, that would make B a rational. And so those are our, our possibilities, and unfortunately we can't really eliminate any of these because they both seem to make sense. Um, if A is red, you know, because we have all, all the possible cases, the only poss impossibility for B is that he wouldn't be able to be a gray predator. Um, or could he be a gray predator? I suppose he, um, let's see, so let's, let's look at that case too, because I guess we're missing one. What if B was a gray predator? Would that be possible? Well, if A was a gray predator, that means, uh, if B was a gray predator, that means A would have to be red, something, and um, that would mean that A is actually, or B is actually telling us that A is red, but that would, that's, a, that's, that's, excuse me, that would actually be telling the truth, which is a contradiction, and therefore B could not be a gray predator, so that actually, uh, this line actually goes away um, by sort of the logic of that statement. So we, we, we can look at all possibilities, doesn't mean all of them make sense, and unfortunately these three uh, are all possible. Okay, so let's look at the next one, and let me just make see how, where I am here on time. I try to make not make these videos too, too long, 
So let's just do one more here, and then I'll, I'll take a pause and I'll, I'll allocate that to another video for the final one. So wishy-washy dragons. Now in this case, I'm going to omit this statement if the two dragons are different colors, uh, because that actually makes this situation impossible, and I'm sure you found that when you were working in your groups. But let's just look at it this way. Um, a knight overtakes two dragons in the woods. He pulls his sword and demands to know their color and type. Um, Dragon 8 says, I am red, either red or I am rational. Okay, so what does that mean to us? Well, to us, that means that, let me get my little toolbar here. It seems to have disappeared. Mm. So either would, in fact, mean that uh, he is one or the other, but not both. So on either or, let's define that. Either or, because we need, we need to be clear on what our language means. Either or means one or the other, not both. And certainly you might get people who disagree with this, but this is our definition of, of how we use either or. One, the other, or not both. So it's really not an or statement, because an or allows for both. But we're saying not in this case. This is often referred to as an exclusive or. Well, if this is an exclusive or, what do you think the, just the standard or is called? It's called an inclusive or. An exclusive refers to that we exclude the possibility of both. So what does the truth table look like for exclusive or? Well, let's just say that we have two statements. Uh, I guess we, are, we can work with these. I am either red or I am rational. OK, so that means that we have a little r and capital R for red, rational. And I always like to state the individual components of the statement and then put them together in the compound form. So red or rational, but that's this is an inclusive, so we got to have a symbol for exclusive so another person would know. And we usually put a little dot above it to say that this is an exclusive or. So we have our possibilities, true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. And exclusive or is when only one is true, but not both. So it would be false for true, true, and it would be false for false, false. Um, so that's where the inclusive or differs. OK, so he's saying, I am either one or I am the other. OK, well, if you're lying, if you're not either one or the other, so this would be when you're telling the truth. If you're lying, then you would fall into one of these other cases, right? This would, these would be considered lying. These two would be considered telling the truth. OK, well, if dragon A is telling the truth, if dragon A is telling the truth, then he is only one red or he is rational. Well, let's suppose for a second that A is rational, that that's where that he falls under basically the third line here. So he's telling the truth. Um, and so that would make him gray because he is either red or rational. Well, if he's rational, then he can't be gray. Because otherwise, if he were rational and, sorry, he can't be rational and red, uh, if that, that were the case, then we would fall into line one and that would be a false statement. So what would that make B? Well, B says, no, I am either red or I am rational. Okay, well, he's, by this statement, I think we can infer that he's saying, no, you're not. I am either red or I am rational. Well, what does that say? Well, that says that he's lying, that, he, uh, that he's saying that A is lying, but we know that by assumption here that A is rational. Okay, well, that makes him a predator. And if that makes him a predator, then he can't be red because that would be telling the truth. So he must be a gray predator. Uh, again, that must be true that he's gray because this statement, I am either red or I am rational, would be true if he were red. Um, so let's look at uh, the other case. So he, he could also be a, a red dragon, right? But, but that means he can't be irrational. Uh, because if he's both red and rational, then he, he's not ex in exclusively one or the other. So if he were red, this guy would actually have to be a predator. Um, if A is a red predator, okay, well then, um, Dragon B says, no, I am either red or I am rational. All right, well, what, the, what does that tell us? No, I am either red or I am rational. That, so he's saying that A is lying. Oh, she made, I, I need to back up a second here. We have a contradiction, right? Because if he were either red or rational, and he was in fact red, 
that means dragon A would have been telling the truth. Okay, so there's no way he can be a red predator. Um, okay, so what's left? Well, he can't be a red rational. He can't be a red predator, so that only leaves gray predator. Okay, so I'm, I'm just moving my A and B over here. So gray predator. So what if A is gray predator? Well, if A is a gray predator, then dragon B says, no, I am either red or I am rational. Okay, well, that seems to be true, right? Because A is a gray predator, and dragon B is saying, no, A, you are not red or rational. I am either red or rational. Well, that would mean that, that he's possibly telling the truth, right? He's definitely telling the truth about dragon A. But in addition to that, he says dragon A is gray. That's a true statement. So what does that make B? Well, that makes B a rational dragon. And in particular, that makes him a gray rational, right? Because uh, he is either one or the other. And if, in fact, he's a rational dragon, then he must be a gray rational. So is this where we get to leave this? Or are we done? Uh, do, are we, again, in this case where we don't know which one is true? Well, let's back up for a second. This gray rational and gray predator, is does that make sense? OK, so if A is, in fact, rational, he must be gray. But dragon B says, dragon A is, no, no, I am either red or I am rational. OK, uh, well, that means he's saying that dragon A is lying, which he's not. Dragon A was telling the truth, so that would automatically Infer, imply that B would have to be a predator. Um, and he would have to be a gray predator, right? Because he's saying that I am one or the other. So the only way he would be lying is if he were neither of the two um, or if he were both. But unfortunately, he can't be both because that would be a true statement. So he's also saying that dragon A is gray. But we look over here and dragon A is in fact gray, right? That's so that is a contradiction because here he's telling a lie, but here he's telling the truth. So this statement is a contradiction, and that leaves us with this as our final conclusion. Uh, so we'll continue on with the last one in, a, in another video. And keep in mind, I just want to emphasize one key point when, when we're dealing with these logic problems, that the ands and the ors, those rules stick around. But sometimes, based on the assumptions and the problems or the givens, like that rationals always tell the truth and that predators always lie, some of, the, some of these possibilities may not be feasible. Some of, them, some of these lines just can't happen. And that's OK. That doesn't, that doesn't necessarily mean that we can't use our and or logic. It just means that we have to use it selectively. So in the next video, we'll, we'll wrap things up.